Today we cover a very interesting topic. It is one of the most curious and neglected fields of human research, and that is the magnetic fields not only of man, but of the universe and the smallest atom. By studying magnetism, we discover that every human body is surrounded by an etheric or energy field. We sometimes refer to this energy field as an aura, but it is not the real aura we think of in metaphysics. This magnetic field is an area of energy. This energy area forms an egg-like atmospheric sheath around the physical body, usually extending one to three meters from it in each direction. This energy field is the basis of virtue because this energy field is responsible for the reality, functionality, and protective power to move the emotions, thoughts, and attitudes of the person around whom this magnetic field is gathered. In other words, the individual, if he is normal mentally, emotionally, and physically, if he follows a set of laws, this magnetic field forms a huge protection, and the individual who follows these laws is healthy. He is constantly able to handle infections and all kinds of difficulties. It will help to heal wounds. It will help to recover the use of functions and organs. And if we are deprived of some part of the body, it will try to compensate for it. As long as the individual takes care of his magnetic field, it will serve him. Now this is a phase of morality that is generally overlooked. It's assumed that these magnetic fields are something you don't pay much attention to. They're there, maybe they'll help you a little bit. But the truth is that virtually the entire survival of the individual depends on maintaining the integrity of this flow of energy in the magnetic field. This energy comes from the sun, enters the individual through the top of the head, spreads through the whole body, and is again expelled through the lower centers of the body and is cleansed by the solar energy. This is a kind of small private reservoir or capsule of light that we all carry with us at all times. Now the problem of morality in this is very precise. The moment we break the spiritual rules, we damage that magnetic flux. We have to observe the laws of nature. These are the seven general principles of natural law, the hermetic principles. And these in turn are God's laws. And if we don't, the magnetic field fails. It can fail because of physical intemperances that reduce its integrity and reduce its power. It can be wasted in unbridled living, which is a very common cause these days. It can be variously destroyed by moods, attitudes, fear, complexes. It can be destroyed or damaged by alcohol, drugs, narcotics, all kinds of things. But if this field is damaged, it reacts immediately through the health of the individual. It damages the individual's vitality. It makes him more easily subject to infections and it definitely shortens life expectancy. Now, if this is so, why do we want to consider it as a moral factor? In other words, what is morality? It is obedience to the evident will of divinity manifested in creation. Virtue lies in everything that builds up magnetic fields. Vice is what pulls them down. So if we are good, it is not because the book says we should be good. It is not because it was thundered from the laws on Sinai. It is because we observe the rules of the integration of the human structure that we properly use magnetic fields and protect our health, happiness, and well-being. Now, we think of the magnetic field as an energy surrounding the entire structure of the body. However, this is only one phase of it. Every part of the body has a magnetic field. It is in the smallest atom. There is not a dead particle in the universe. Therefore, we are faced with the natural problem of realizing that virtue is to observe the law of the energy field. The energy field is what establishes right and wrong. The energy field tells us that losing our disposition and temperament is wrong. Using various negative and destructive attitudes is wrong. Compromising the principle of healthy living is wrong. Thinking badly, feeling unpleasant, being involved in any action or concept contrary to the common good harms the magnetic field. And so it is wrong. Selfishness hurts that field. Every vice we know, the violation of any of the Ten Commandments and a number of other rules causes damage to that field because the final code itself is based on the principle of living in every part of the human constitution. So every little cell has its own moral responsibilities. The stomach has its own magnetic field. The stomach is not simply an organ. It is an organism. It is a living thing within the human body. The same goes for the heart, the brain, all the organs, the intestines, the whole motor system, the nervous system, the endocrine system. They are all entities. They are entities of magnetic units. They are part of living organisms cooperating together for the common good. 
To abuse one is to harm all. To neglect one is to neglect all. Each of these organs has its own field in the body, and all these fields together constitute the great magnetic field that surrounds the whole person. It is always present. There is a magnetic core in every realm. All integrity and all fields are compatible. All failures of integrity, all deviations from integrity in any or all fields are constantly in conflict. The only way an individual can escape conflict is to never abuse the energetic factors in his life. He must never abuse his body, his emotion, his mind. He must never allow himself to develop attitudes that are incompatible with the integrity that nature has bestowed. Magnetic fields are absolutely honest. There is no way to make them dishonest. The only thing we can do with them is to destroy or limit the manifestation of their integrity. If we break the rule, we lose the benefit of that particular energy. When we lose that benefit, then we say that evil has come to us. But it is not a bad thing that has come to us. It is the failure of a good thing that you should have developed, purified and intensified. Magnetic fields are also in a state of constant evolution. They are evolving in the person's life because it is really a matter of gradually straightening out the perfection of an energy resource. Now no one is going to perfect it in one lifetime or in 100 lifetimes, but it will grow. And the more integrity grows, the more rapidly the individual will harmoniously adapt to the life principle to which he or she belongs. And our whole atmosphere, the whole world we live in, is a mass of magnetic interactions. Television actually uses magnetism. It is part of a world of electronics which we now consider simply a physical thing. But when we study it, we find that television broadcasting is a work made by energy. There is an energy field going on in a larger energy field. The atmosphere through which messages pass is itself a great field of life, and it is alive. Space is alive. Space is not simply some living atom in a vacuum. Space itself as substance and essence is part of the great magnetism of the sun. The only way the individual can be truly dominated by anything but himself is when he sells his energy and becomes negative for other things. He has to give up his integrity before he can be harmed by outside forces. There is not enough evil in the whole world to destroy a person's integrity. He has to destroy it himself. Therefore, the damages are in a sense not only moral, but they are absolutely right in their actual integrity. And this is the way the Chinese culture noted the universe creates the concept of right and wrong. This right and wrong is simply a matter of what builds up and what pulls down the essential energies on which light depends. So we have this problem in every area of life. We have it in the problem of narcotics. We have it in much of commercialism. We have it wherever there is an attitude of putting profit and progress above integrity. Wherever the individual makes this compromise, he immediately becomes part of this particular problem. So once again, everything becomes a matter of keeping the energy fields clean, and the only way they can be kept clean is by using them correctly, because it is said definitively that many may fall on the right hand and many on the left hand, but the right one will not be moved. Everything is energy. So we now return to the individual and find him standing in the middle of his own magnetic field, with his structure protected by the constant radiant force of outgoing energy that gives vitality to everything from the center outward and nourishes the solar system, which is the human body, from the level of the sun. The ancient astrologers understood that these energy fields originated in man himself, and that the source of all the energy fields in the human body is the heart, that this is the thing from which everything else radiates. Therefore, the most dangerous of all corruptions is the abuse of love, the abuse of friendship, the abuse of integrity, the abuse of loyalty and the abuse of those things of benevolence, mercy and compassion which are associated with the heart. While those energies remain firm, the heart radiating from the circumference of the body's magnetic field is completely protective. In reality, however, if these energies are wrong, if the individual begins to hate someone or an individual breaks a friendship for selfishness or advantage or gain for physical or economic gain, immediately this defense fails. The individual who cheats has lowered his defenses against being cheated in turn. If he does evil, 
He opens a way for evil to be done to him because he has destroyed the magnetic defenses. So all our morality is a matter of vital energies. It is about gradually bringing all our intemperance into patterns of usefulness, creativity, and constructiveness. It is all part of working toward a harmonious balance of the natural resources of solar energy. Now, we will finally settle down, and each person must decide whether he will fulfill his own purposes or obey the laws of nature. So, these seven general principles, they are mentalism, correspondence, vibration, polarity, rhythm, cause and effect, and gender. If he obeys the laws of nature and understands them, things will work out. If he continues to do what he wants, without any consideration for values or the rights and purposes of nature, he will be in trouble. Everywhere is energy, energy that must be used properly,